hello everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to see the list built-in data structure in python okay so we are going to see how we can create a list how we can access elements in a list how we can modify remove and perform some list operations on our list okay step by step so let's get started so first of all we will create a list of only integer values so how we can do that by simply taking a name numbers and then starting with the square braces now remember one thing a square braces is the syntax which specifies that all the elements present inside the square braces are of which type are of list type and then separating each value by a comma it defines that one is a separate value then comma defines that this value is now separated from this as after one we have put comma so now one and two are two different values okay and then we'll print these numbers so these numbers will get print and if we'll print the type to check whether it is correct or not so we'll see that class list okay now so we will simply print numbers now we will see how to create or how to store string values in a list so i have created a fruits in that i'll store apple then i'll store orange and then i'll store banana and for checking it we'll just print fruits and again you'll see it has also been fruits list has also been created now one more feature of list is that list is heterogeneous means it could store multiple data types inside one list so we'll see that so i'll create one mix list variable and in that i'll create i'll store an integer value also i'll store an a string value also i'll store a float value too and i'll store a boolean value also and now i'll print it so now you'll see because lists are heterogeneous so that's why it could contain different types of data types also okay now we can create an empty list also how we can do that just like this and if we'll print so we can create an empty list in a list also and further uh, using append methods we can add elements to it but we can create an empty list also now one more thing we can use the list constructor to create a list suppose uh, i have a string I have a string in that python is store python is a string value store in a string variable okay now using this list or what i can do i can create a list one and in that i can use the list constructor and in that i'll put this string as an input in the list constructor and when i'll print this okay spelling is wrong it is it will be list yeah then list1 and now I'll, you will see that this string python has been converted into a list and if you want to check the type also so you can check the type 2 what is its type its type is list so this is the way you can convert a tuple also a set also and a string value also in using this list constructor into a list okay now this was how you can create the different types of list or how you can create list okay now the example two that is how you can access now for accessing it is very simple you can access first you can use the print function and then you have to just write your 
name of the list so my name of the list is fruits and suppose I want to access this apple so what I will do now in list indexing is also present so the indexing in python starts from zero so this is apple is present at zero place this orange is placed at one index and this banana is at two means indexing in python starts from zero either it is list or either it is a set or either it is a dictionary or either it is a numpy array it's a start from zero so for accessing the first value we have to write zero over here and then when you will print apple will get printed now this was accessing the list elements from starting now you can access the list elements from the end also now how you can do now i'll take different list numbers and from the end also so i want to access this five so this five is present at the last place so i'll write minus one and now you will see five as in present so so on four is present at minus two 3 is present at minus 3, 2 is present at minus 4, and 1 is present at minus 5. Okay. So when I'll write minus 5 over here for the confirmation, so you will see 1 is getting printed. Okay. Now this was how you can access. Now for slicing purpose. I mean, suppose if you want to access multiple values together. I mean, suppose you want to access this orange and banana both. So what you will do? We'll use the print statement, then you will use the fruits just like this, and then you will do that you want to access from orange. So you will write one, and then you want to access this banana. It is present at two, but you will write three over here. Then this orange and banana will print it. Now you will now there will be a question that when the banana is present at two, why I have written three over here? So that we will see when I'll write two. Then if you notice only orange is getting printed and when I write 3 then banana is getting printed. It means that the starting index, the starting value which we write inside the slicing using the column, the starting value is inclusive. Means when you will write 1, it includes 1 but the ending value is exclusive. Means when you will write 2, it will not add 2. If we have to print till second index, we have to write here 3 just like the uh, in the range function in the range function the same thing happens okay this 3 is excluding means 3 is not present here also but if 3 would be present then also it will print till banana only okay so that is the matter now one more way is there if you want to access from the starting you want to access from start but till banana only so you will write 3 here or till orange only so you will write 2 here and will not mention the starting part because you want to start from the 0th index so now you will leave that part you will leave the starting part so it will access from the uh, starting now if you mention the starting part if you want to print till the end so you will leave the ending part so what will happen it will print the whole list okay understandable okay moving to the next part that is modifying now for for doing the modification in a list there are many methods present and the way also there is one more way also without a method if you want to change some value so what you can do you can first access it so at one index orange is present okay now i want to change this orange to grape so what I will do, I will just simply change it. First I will access it, fruits, 1. Okay, and let me do one more thing. Let me just first print the fruit. Fruits. And then print the fruit after, after the modification. Fruits. Okay, now when I will execute the cell, you will, see, you will see apple, orange, banana this print is this one then we have done the modification by accessing the first place means the second element uh, orange we are accessing orange and we are changing it to grape and then we are, if you are printing fruits then you are getting grape okay so this was it now there are some method also uh, 
one method is append which add the item at the last so how this is used so you have to fruits append the list first you write the list name in which you want to perform the append and then in the append you write the kiwi and then you will print the fruits now remember one thing this append adds the value or you can say the element at the last place at the last index okay so till here it was still banana kiwi get added and when you print fruit so kiwi is at the last okay now there is one more way to add so this append is used to add only one element but when you want to add multiple elements then there is a function extend so what you can do in the extend fruits dot extend and in the extend inside the extend you can add a list also so what you can do you can add mango comma and then pineapple okay pineapple is a string value so under the quotes pineapple and then again we will print the fruits now you will see kiwi okay i run the cell two times that's why kiwi gets printed two times and then mango and pineapple means first when i run the cell so kiwi was added already then i again ran, ran it and so kiwi get added twice okay so mango and pineapple okay now for the removing for the removing also there are two methods commonly used one for removing by value that is the remove method that is the remove method used for directly remove the element by the value name that is fruits dot remove and then if you want to remove suppose i have kiwi two times so i'll just remove kiwi or wait i'll not remove kiwi i'll remove orange first orange okay and then i'll print fruits okay i've changed the orange to grape my bad yeah and now you'll see apple then there was grape but now because i have removed by the value by the remove method grape so grape has been removed now there is apple banana kiwi kiwi mango and pineapple okay now it throws an error because we have already use that now we will use i'll just comment this line first now that is by index value and for that there is the pop method so we will access the list first fruits then we'll do the pop and in the pop we'll add the index so we want to remove one kiwi so zero one and two so it is at the second place and then we will print fruits and you will see that one kiwi has been removed because we have used the index to remove kiwi so we have removed the kiwi present at the second index means this kiwi so now only this kiwi has been placed and all the other three are replaced by one space okay so this was removing then there is list operations that what are the list operations which we can do so there is one length function which we can use in our elements it will give the total value just like you can see in the print i have used the length function and inside the length function we have given the input our list name fruits so in our list name fruits as you can see at the last apple banana kiwi mango and pineapple there are only five elements so five elements are getting printed okay then we can perform the we can use the membership operator to check that any particular uh, any particular element or value is present in our list or not so how we can do that we can just simply do like this that kiwi in fruits and if it will be it will return true and suppose if i'll do it for grape so we have removed grape so it will return false okay and then one more thing we can perform concatenation also in our list so 
the initial time in the first cell we have created a numbers and we have stored the value still 5 okay so we have with us the number list now we want to add uh, 6 7 8 to it so we'll just simply write like this and we'll print new list like this and you will see that already our numbers list has 1 2 3 4 5 and when we have performed the concatenation using the plus operator so what has happened this list has added to the number list and stored in a new list new underscore list and we have printed the new underscore list then this the concatenation has been performed and numbers and 6 7 8 has been added together okay now at last there is list iteration that how we can iterate it is very simple using the for loop is a convenient way so you can directly write for i in fruits in, in our fruit and then inside the for block we can just simply use the f string and we can print that fruit column and then i so all the fruit apple banana kiwi mango and pineapple will get printed now if you want to do the list iteration perform the list iteration using the index value so what you can do there is a way there is a method actually for that so first of all you will take two iteration variables index and you can take index and i or you any value is not compulsory that you will take index and i only it is depend on you guys then there is one method then the membership operator in and then there is a method enumerate now this method is very helpful or it is used to iterate over the index value and the value together okay so you can use the print in the print you can use the f string first you have to print the index then the index iteration variable then you will print the fruit and then the i so this is your output first the index you will get means at the zero index fruit apple is present then at one banana two kiwi three mango and four pineapple so if you guys will master these things in the list so your list will be totally perfect okay so i hope you like this video thanks for watching the video We'll see you in the next week.